Greek Highlands for us. Hot, arid, turquoise sea. This isn't too bad for midweek break. Weather scorcher. And water. Yeah, time to relax. Welcome to this week's vlog. We're at Reculva Beach. And this week, we're down in Kent, a few days away, between the weekends, somewhere we've never really stayed over. What a beautiful rural county it is too. Midweek, of course, stunningly glorious. 30 degrees today, almost no one else around. Anyway, I'm looking for fossilized shark teeth in the sort of rock pool areas. But I think Mark Haben has actually found them all. <laughs> I'll let you know. It's 30 degrees out here and the rock pools are an inch or two deep so that water all the tides out is really baking look at this there's a big old shore crab in here Wait. there's two actually little guy here look at that That is definitely a childhood creature right there. We've got a beadlet anemone. Also just a blob of red jelly until the tide comes in and its tentacles come out. I'm gonna put him over here. We're gonna put his girlfriend there. And that is his girlfriend, so I know that because she shed her skin and she's soft. It's more than likely want to mate with her. He mates with her only when she's just recently shed her skin. Maybe he's just looking after her. I'm going to move out of the way. We're going to flip the rock back and then of course we'll put her straight back under there. So she's over there. I have to put the camera down because he's gone under the rock and I don't want to squash him. Literally, exactly within a minute, but down and went that the shark's tooth. So we did find the shark's tooth, although that little bit of the root bit that's missing on this one. Lovely Kent woodland, just down the road from where we're staying. Loads of butterflies. Just a lovely comma in its sort of the summer brew plumage, which is really that sort of really orangey sort of version of the comma. Um, we've just seen a beautiful white admiral oh, and a peacock butterfly. But as soon as I got the camera out to film the white admiral, it went up into sort of headed towards a canopy, annoyingly. Absolutely beautiful. And usually a sign that's a really good, healthy woodland. So we'll see what we see. It 
is absolutely lovely. And we'll report back if we find anything else. It's absolutely boiling, very humid today. Um, I don't think we're going to see any reptiles because there's no sort of refuges that I know about. And to be honest, all the herbage now is really high and it's generally, generally too hot for UK reptiles to be out and about. Enjoy the rest of the vlog. Today we're at Rye Harbour Nature Reserve. <laughs> Being very English. <laughs> That's it, I've got to say to anyone, if you've never been to Kent and you want a few days away, wildlife, wildlife areas, woodlands, coastal areas, a massive range of countryside, the range of wildlife, loads of wildlife places to go to as well if you like places to like zoo type places, you've got wild woods and many others, really recommend wild woods, absolutely lovely peaceful time away, if you are a business owner, especially with animals you know, Unfortunately, you do get away, you do relax, but it never leaves you alone. Still problem solving, emails, messages, phone calls every single day. Fortunately, that is how it goes. But for the most part, a wonderful relaxing breakaway. If you've never been to the Kent countryside, it is wonderful, vast and quiet. Much different to trying to get across the Dartford Tunnel home. Yuck. <laughs> Does it grow? It, it, it's got a little more weight to go, but that's not so high. Are you going to plant it again now then? Huh? Are you going to plant it again now then? No. <laughs> Water beetle. 
Is it one of the bird baths? Look at it going, meow. A lot of these aquatic insects fly. That's how they get to new water sources. This guy's kind of misjudged it there because he's going to get tipped out. And he's going to have to fly somewhere else. Oh, he's trying to get out now, look. Look at him go, he's heard me. He says, this is no pond. <laughs> Hot weather. Now we had a water beetle in the eagle's bath. This morning we've got a toad. Now toads don't go to water to breed or anything else other than the spring really. So it's interesting to see this guy's gone in here. Look at the moisture. Everything's arid. I'm going to put him under the hedge. It's a bit tricky because I don't know where he's come from. I don't want to take him around the back to my wildlife area because he's not come from there. So I think we'll put him around there in the shade. Hopefully somewhere near to where he was living. As a wasp bounces him on the head. Ah, a common toe. Even the wasp has, has come for a drink. As I always say, the best thing you can do in your garden to attract and support wildlife, one single thing, is put a pond in. Try not to put any goldfish or other carp in there. They'll ruin it. But a wildlife pond the size of even a bowl sunk into the ground will help wildlife and it will come on its own well it never ends it never ends half past six this morning started work school most of the day finished quite early finished about one o'clock up to the full can we center it's friday again but i mowed the lawns yesterday now i told you generous people have been giving us their old kit that kind of thing clogs up our storeroom and it was messy so i spent the whole afternoon into the evening having everything out you know what it's like if you clear out your shed or your garage that kind of thing all looks great now suddenly there's loads of room in there now it's sort, sorted and tidied my van my motorbikes my cars used to be my pride and joy and they were washed and polished weekly if not sooner not anymore <laughs> so this old girl here she's had a bit of a birthday she had a darn good clean out inside and out I feel better about that. It's eight o'clock at night and I think it's time I went home, had a shower and repeat in the morning. We're open all weekend as usual. It's beautiful weather and it's gonna be great meeting some lovely people and giving our wildlife talks and our falconry displays. And just letting people enjoy the falconry centre, the menagerie and of course the beautiful gardens at Holdenby House. If you haven't been, come and see us. Mm -hmm.